hey there it stops here welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to be sharing with you how you can send bulk emails for free using your simple gmail account or any email account you have whether it's an imap email or ipop email to uh, people for free using the free mozilla thunderbird software uh, this would help you send thousands of thousands of emails to even up to over 250,000 recipients within an half just for free so this would come in handy for you if you uh, have a job that requires that you send out emails or maybe you're an internet marketer you're a blogger you have people you need to send emails and you don't have huge budget for email marketing campaign this would come in very handy for you uh, if this sounds too good to be true then stay put and let's do this together if you're very familiar with my channel and if you're very familiar with me you know i don't bluff i just spill things out the way they are so if this is you then let's not waste too much time let's get started into this video immediately Right on my screen here is dabstutorial.com and this is my website and I'm currently sharing how I went from Dev to Million with WordPress in case you are into WordPress, you want to learn WordPress or just want to look for any other thing that can make you money online in passive income, you can jump straight to dabstutorial.com and then check out the businesses I did that took me from zero from Dev to Millions. First things first, the first thing we need to do right now is for us to have access to Mozilla Thunderbird. So if you have that software on your system, that's fantastic. You've made the journey very easy. But if you are not, it's an open source software. It's very easy to find. You can just go to your browser and search for Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, so this is the software here, Mozilla Thunderbird. So if you click this, uh, you would have access to the site here. You can hit this download button and then you have the software on your PC. You can install it like every normal software. You don't, I'm not sure you have any issue doing that. It's just a normal process. If you have downloaded this software and you have installed it, you should have an interface that looks like this, like mine. The only difference is that you might not have all these emails here like I do because I have this integrated with some of my emails that I manage. So what I will have to do right now is I will have to add a Gmail account to this and show you exactly how this works. So basically, uh, let's minimize this and let's, I have a Gmail account open here on my browser. So I would want to add this Gmail account to my Thunderbird and then I can copy the email account. And then I open this software. Uh, so there's a place I can sign up for another account here. So I'll do a Gmail account. I'll just do my name as Dabs. As usual, I'll put my uh, email account and then I'll put the password. So, but before we continue with this, uh, let's do a setting in our Gmail account for us to be able to use IMAP. So, let's come to settings. Uh, let's see all our settings. And then let's come to forward, uh, pop, and IMAP and then we can enable imap and when we are done then we can save changes okay fantastic once we have this done or we can continue with our uh, settings here so let's continue so you can see configuration found in mozilla uh, database uh, this is good so this is imap uh, then let's hit uh, the done button so this will trigger up a browser for us to uh, sign in into our Gmail account for it to integrate together. Okay, so Google will ask if you need to, if you want to allow uh, Mozilla Thunderbird uh, to access your Gmail account, you need to click the allow button uh, for the permission to be granted. So permission has been granted. Uh, I've received an email from Gmail here uh, letting me know that something had happened to my account. And that's good. Uh, then so we can see that, uh, yes, our email is syncing right now with, uh, with Thunderbird. So here is Soul Squad uh, here already. So I can come to my inbox here and I'll see the list of all my emails. So that's good. Right now, 
we have added our gmail to this software thunderbird uh to, so this is not limited to gmail account alone you can uh you can add any other high map email or any of your web mails i have got all my web mails here in case you need tutorial specifically uh, in case you need assistance specifically for you to see how you can integrate your high map emails i think i did that in my last video around mozilla showing you how to migrate uh, your web mails from one server to another so you can jump into my youtube channel and you can see that video so you can just search for uh, YouTube uh, slash dabs tutorial and I can just go to videos directly so that I can show you that video so this is the video I just uh, posted this video some uh, like an hour ago and uh, email migration from one of account to another so if you click this video you see exactly how I did my migrations uh, now I migrated how I integrated my I map emails my web emails with thunderbird so i don't want to waste so much time on that you can come here and check out for that video so that being said the next thing for us to do right now is for us to prepare our emails and then send them uh, so really there is a way to get this done uh, to fit uh, into thunderbird to make our emails look so professional so wherever you have your emails you may have it on your email management system or you have it in an excel or you have it in a word document regardless of where you have it you need to put it in this format uh, so let's come to our excel okay so uh, i just want to show you how you can reference names and all these things and just certain parameters in your emails uh, for the sake of this tutorial i would just do name and email alone for you you can do first name last name and email you can do first name last name phone number email depending on what you want to do and the details you have uh from the people uh or maybe you have the uh you have the special number that you've collected or you want to you want to send them the registration email uh, id or something so you can you can structure all these things into the email and it will deliver to all of them as far as we put those parameters here in excel very simple very easy so uh, for the sake of this story i'll just do two uh, let's say i want to do name and then email really simple that's it uh so for name let me just do random name i'll do my first name as ethan okay so let's just use this three emails as an example so i really don't want to stretch these or waste time so in case you have uh, 200 names and, and emails you can do this itemize them into different cells but make sure that your first uh, cell is the definition of your parameters in that sense so right now i want to send emails to just these three people ethan dave and soul and i have their parameters as name and email and i would save this the title of this excel is very important too because it's a definition uh, so i can just say this is i can just say welcome email right good so i will want to save this into my downloads or i would save this into my document and again don't forget we would save these as a csv file very very important to not save it as excel save it as csv and then i'll hit my save button so that's really how to prepare uh, your excel uh, it's that very simple just put them in different columns and you will see how we are going to fit all these things into our email so the, the the thing about this is that when you send out those bulk emails you can address them to people personally so you can put a, a hello dave hello ethan they will receive it custom custom email so that's that's the idea that's the beauty so we can close this we are done here okay so let's head over to our thunderbird and then this is the time we have to set our email oh my 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 i just goofed uh <laughs> i had forgotten since early that we are using the email so squad is one of the emails i wanted to send emails to a sample uh that would be that would not be too good uh 
sending the email to oneself or maybe i should just use any other emails to send out this email but it's still the same thing here you can send out emails uh uh, regardless so where what we'll do next is for us to eat the right button here once you hit that button this window will pop up uh, this is where you see who is sending it and this is so squad i have that email already as my recipient maybe i should just try to use one of my other emails here uh, to send this out this is where it gets a little bit technical and i want you to understand how this works so who we are sending to since we are using our mail merge uh, we'll put a parameter here and we'll do email so it means we want to send this to our emails and then uh, once you are done with this hit the enter button that's very very important if you don't hit the enter button uh, you may not be able to send that email out so now we are sending this to the email parameters that we set in our excel you know we have a column for emails uh, so, so we are sending it to the people uh, to those three emails that we have and then our subject here will be anything you want to send anything you want to put around so it could be anything it could just be this is a test email And then this is where you populate your content uh what you want to send out really uh, but this is how to use the name parameters you can just say dear and then you put the email parameters as well uh the name rather so this is where we do name and then you can continue uh i hope you're doing well So in case, let's say you want to, maybe you want to send them their registration details or something and you have a parameter for them in your Excel, you can just come down here and just say, uh, this is your ID and then you do the parameters that you have set in your emails for ID, whatever you named it, uh, the cell in your Excel, you can say, uh, id in case that cell uh, is id or whatever you can just this is your id and then you can just send your email uh, in that sense but since we just did two and uh, which is the email and the name uh, that's it uh, i hope you are doing well thank you Dabs. so that's it we are done with our email uh so you can you can send your emails uh you just need to understand how those parameters work for you to be able to send so the next thing you can do right now is to come up to the right hand far corner here you see this mail merge so if you eat this you would see that this pop up here and it's copying our message to template folder for it to send out okay so yeah, once you have this you will make sure that your source here is csv since we have a uh, excel in csv format okay so this is this is another place you need to pay attention we have three formats here that you can send you can send now you can send later you can send as draft if you do send now send now we send the emails immediately to everybody on the list if you put it as send later it will store the email in your uh, out out outbox uh, for you to be able to go check the email to see that the mail merge is working well and once you're satisfied then you can send the file or you to save it as draft so you can go to your draft and check it and then choose the word you want to send so really it's up it's up to you to choose whatever works for you but i would do send now and here is where you need to browse where your file is located and locate the exact uh excel that you want to send so mine is welcome email so i'll be doing this so since we are done here we can just hit the ok button so there's a warning here that you can do delete you can do send later for you to check the individual and personalize messages to know that everything is working well uh, to fix bugs and all of that you can do that in case it's a very formal email first before you send but for the sake of this tutorial we want to send it immediately and you see that our email will start sending uh it's just that simple and easy to do 
So we have two of three emails sent. Uh, so whatever emails we have and our emails are sent out already. It's a simple process, I believe. So let's close this. So now we are in our email. You can see this is a test email. Dear soul, you can see that I have. So you can see that I've received this email. This is a test email. Dear soul, and you can see the email is addressed to me. I hope you're doing well. Thank you from DAPS. I hope you can follow my tutorial and replicate the same thing for yourself and start sending those emails out for free. If you have found this video very useful, you can uh, give me a thumbs up. You can also give me a shout out in the comment section below. I'd love to get feedbacks from you. I'd love to know if this had worked for you or if you have any challenge whatsoever. And if there's any other video you want me to make, please drop them for me in the comment section below. It helps me. It helps me uh, produce videos every now and then. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. And until then, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. That's the only time you get to know when I post awesome videos like this. I am sure you will do that. Bye for now.